Burke's Surname Meaning in History, presented by COADB.com, where you can obtain affordable genealogy research. Surname Meaning, it is an English and Irish habitational surname denoting a person from Burg or Burg Castle in Suffolk, England. The word Burke represents an Anglo-Norman pronunciation of the Old English word Burg or Old French word de Burka, meaning fortification. The family is said to descend from William de Burgh, alive or born in the year 1160. He was the founder of the House of Burgh in Ireland. He was appointed governor of Limerick by King Henry II of England and granted vast estates in Munster and Leinster. His brothers were Hubert de Burgh, who was the first Earl of Kent, and Geoffrey de Burgh, who was Bishop of Eli, or Eli, however that's pronounced. And William had three sons. Richard, who was the first Lord of Connacht, Hubert de Burgh, Bishop of Limerick, and William, who was Sheriff. Early bearers of this surname included Geoffrey de Burke and Walter de Burke, documented in Hertfordshire, England, in 1272, and Hubert de Burke and John de Burke, documented in Somerset, England, in 1273. Noble titles held included the Burke Baronetcy of Glinsk in the county of Galway, a title created in the Baronetage of Ireland in 1628 for Sir Ulick Burke, son of Edmund Bork, and the grandson of Sir Hubert Bork, who died in 1598. And here we see a list of the Burke Baronets of Glinsk all the way through the 13th Baronet, Sir Theobald Hubert Burke, who died in 1909, as well as Castle Glinsk, The Burke Baronetcy of Marble Hill was created in 1797 for Sir Thomas Burke, who raised an infantry regiment at his own expense during the Napoleonic Wars, and was the grandson of Thomas Burke, who died in 1714. He was succeeded by his son, seen here, Sir John Burke, second baronet, who was high sheriff and a member of parliament for Galway. And here we see Marble Hill House. <coughs> as well as a list of the Burke Baronets of Marble Hill all the way through the ninth Baronet who was born in 1956. There was also Ulick Burke, the 12th of Clan Ricard. He was created Baron Duncallan and Earl of Clan Ricard in the Peerage of Ireland in 1543. Now, Richard Burke IV Earl was created Baron of Summerhill and Viscount Tunbridge in 1624, and Baron of Imani, Viscount Galway, and Earl of St. Albans in 1628. And I believe he lived at or built Port Tumna Castle. Now, the fifth Earl, Ulick Burke, was a Catholic royalist who held the overall command of the Irish forces during the latter stages of the Cromwellian conquest of Ireland and was, re was created Marquess of Clan Ricard in the Peerage of Ireland in 1646. The ninth Earl, John Burke, an Irish soldier who was a colonel during the Williamite War in Ireland, was taken prisoner at the Battle of Ogram which is depicted on the right. He was created Baron Bork of Bofin in 1691. Henry de Berg, the 12th Earl, educated at Eton College, which we see on the right, member of parliament for Galway, was created Marquess of Clan Ricard in 1789. The 13th Earl, also Henry de Berg, raised and commanded the 88th Regiment of Foot and was governor of Kingston upon Hall and was also a cricket player. He was created Earl of Clan Ricard in 1800. Ulrich de Burgh, the 14th Earl, a British ambassador to Russia, postmaster general, and privy councillor, was created Marquess of Clan Ricard in 1825 and Baron Summerhill the following year. John Bork was created Viscount Bork in Clan Maurice in 1629. He was the son of the third Earl and he died at Dunsandle in County Galway, Ireland. 
which is depicted, I believe, on the right. Baron Leitrim or Leitrim, title in the Peerage of Ireland, first created in 1583 for, however that's pronounced, I'm not even going to try, uh, and it became extinct in 1591 on the death of his son, Redmond Burke, the second Baron, in 1602. Another here, Baron Ard Ardenuri, was created in 1580 for the son of Oliver Bork of Tiro Lay. Baron Bork of Castle Connell was a title created in the Peerage of Ireland in 1580 for Sir William Bork. Here we see a list of the Baron Borks all the way through the 8th Baronets. I'm sorry, the 8th Baron William Bork, who died in 1691. Baron Bork of Britis was a title in the Peerage of Ireland, created in 1618 for Theobald Bork, grandson of the first Baron Bork of Castle Connell. And here we see a list of the Barons Burke all the way through the third Baron, who died after 1691. Baron Burg was a title created in the Peerage of Ireland in England in 1327 for William de Burg, who was later Earl of Ulster. Both of these titles later merged with the crown in 1461. The title was later recreated for Sir Thomas Burgh of Gainsborough, which we see on the right, in the 15th century. He was an esquire to the body of esquire of the body to King Edward IV of England and a privy councillor. Viscount Mayo was a title created in 1627 for Theoboid Nalong Burke, also known as Theobald Burke. And here we see a list of the Viscounts Mayo, all the way through John Bork, the eighth Viscount, who died sometime after 1767. Earl of Mayo was a title created in 1785 for John Bork. He'd already been created Baron Nass in 1776. Here we see a list of the Earls of Mayo, all the way through the 10th Earl, who died in 2006. And here we see an oil painting of the 6th Earl, Richard Southwell Bork. He served as Viceroy of India from 1869 to 1872. And I believe the family owned Palmerston House, seen here. The de Burgo Baronetcy of Castle Connell in the County of Limerick was created in 1785 for Sir Richard de Burgo grandson of Richard Bork of Drome Sally. And the first baronet was born Richard Burke, but later assumed the surname of de Burgo, which is the Latin spelling of the surname. And the baronetcy, it looked like it went extinct with the death of the fourth baronet, Sir Richard Donnellan de Burgo in 1873. And here we see Island House on Clune Island, built by Sir John Allen de Burgo, the third baronet around the year 1840. Now to the landed gentry, there was Burke of Bally Dugan or Duggan in County Galway in Ireland. They descended from Michael Burke, Esquire of Ballin Tober in Ross Common. Burke of the Aubreys or Aubreys in County Essex, England. They descended from the Burkes of Melick in County Galway, Ireland, and from Dominic. Burke, Esquire of Clon de Goff Castle in Galway. Burke of Ower in County Galway, Ireland, represented in the 19th century by William Joseph Burke, Justice of the Peace and Barrister at Law. They descended from, it looks like, John Burke of Castle Hackett. Burke of St. Clarence in County Galway, Ireland, Represented in the 19th century by Anne Celestine Burke. Bork of Curley in County Mayo in Ireland and also of Rahassan Park in County Galway, Ireland. Bork of Thornfields in County Limerick, Ireland. One member of this family was General Sir Richard Bork, born 1777, 
an Irish soldier who served in the British Army and was governor of New South Wales in Australia, Burke of Springfield in County Dublin, Ireland. They descended from Martin Burke of Springfield. Notables included Honora Burke, born around the year 1675. She married Patrick Sarsfield and went into exile in France. And it says here she may have introduced the country dance to the French court. Edmund Burke, born 1761, a Danish diplomat who negotiated and signed the Treaty of Kiel, which ended the War of the Sixth Coalition. Edmund Burke, born 1729, an Anglo-Irish statesman, economist, and philosopher. And his son, Richard Burke, a barrister and member of Parliament for England. Robert O'Hara Burke, born 1821, an Irish soldier and police officer who achieved fame as an Australian explorer. Last slide. Early arrivals in the New World included Henry Burke in Virginia in 1647. Robert, Robert Jr., and Stephen Burke came to Maryland in 1649, and Jane Burke arrived in Maryland in 1666. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com, where we offer genealogy research service. Link in the description. Thank you very much.